line. And it was a major need, as you guys have all discussed. Yep. I will still note, Will Levis is still on the board. And, and, and mm-hmm. I mean, you look, even if that was a consideration for the Tennessee Titans, and knowing Mike Rabel, he's going to go with the safe pick in that situation because Ooh. we don't know what Tannehill is doing. We have a not. shocker of a pick. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh the wow. Just selected Jameer Gibbs out of Alabama. And, and guys, I, I'm stunned just because this isn't something – I didn't see many mocks that had Jameer Gibbs running back out of Alabama going this high. I, uh, all right, so what do you okay, got okay. All right, so first of all, a little bit of the, the expository here, right? For, you know, for those of you who don't know Jameer Gibbs, you're seeing Georgia Tech highlights because he was at Georgia Tech for multiple years before he finished off his past year at Alabama. It was a huge transfer for Nick Saban and the Crimson Tide to, lead, to land. He was at Georgia Tech, though, and absolutely balled out. They don't exactly play uh, the same level of offense that Alabama often does, but this is a satellite player. I hate to make comparisons to guys that are at their ceiling, but if you're doing the ceiling comparison for Jameer Gibbs, it's Alvin Kamara, Mm -hmm. best receiving back in this year's draft, Mm -hmm. unbelievable in space. Has enough power, like not going to bowl you over like Derrick Henry will, but this guy is super fun. You're seeing him right now as a route runner. If you put 81 as opposed to 1 on his jersey, mm-hmm. you could be convinced that it's a That's young fun. Andrew Hawkins I right here. Mm-hmm. Now, the Go Lions on, have now bro. invested David Montgomery, three years, $18 million bucks. DeAndre Swift sure feels like the kind of player whose time is coming to an end in Detroit. Yeah. Two phenomenal running backs, but Jameer Gibbs can do it on returns. Whether it's kick returns, punt returns, could be a pass catcher, could run the football. Dynamic playmaker, runs routes like a, I won't say a poor man wide receiver, but he, he, can, he can run some routes. He, he, he can get right. like a slot. I, I, I would definitely say that. I mean, the way he changes direction, his footwork, I mean, what he's able to do in the pass game, you talked about it. He's one of those players that I think actually – fits better on the pro level because he's such a matchup nightmare. And when you get him in that, you see the choice route they put on there. Like, a linebacker is not going to be able to defend that kind of change in direction. He led the mm-hmm. team in rushing, and he catches and run routes like a, like a slot receiver. Jerk route king. Jerk route yep. king. Okay, yeah. he's going to make you look like a jerk when you put him one-on-one with a linebacker. <laughs> yep. Problem solver. Uh, Alabama, in case you didn't know, had a ton of issues on offense in terms of finding production every time they needed it. Who did they go to? They yep. went to Jameer Gibbs. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, it is interesting. Let's at least acknowledge they had the sixth pick in the draft. They traded down to the 12th pick in the draft. So if you're a Lions fan, you came in thinking, man, we were on the cusp of the playoffs last year. Uh, we have the sixth pick in the draft. Was this the, the – like, are, are they playing chess at this point? Because it seems like trading down and then taking a running back means that they felt really secure about the entirety of what they were trying to accomplish, right? Like, it's just, it feels a little weird for a trade down and then a running back. Um – does. Running backs are back, man. Two they running are. backs and no wide receivers taken so far in the first 12 picks. Who would have guessed ridiculous. that in today's NFL, right? It's ridiculous. Um, Haters, huh? Yeah. yeah. So he does, I will say he, <laughs> to I, the, the biggest criticism I think I've seen of Jameer Gibbs is people feel like his growth potential is not what you would like for it to be, especially, I mean, if, where he just got picked. Mm-hmm. But I think the, the positive thing with him and the reason he draws those Camara, you know, comparisons is because he has such a good feel for the game. And you really need to have that, especially with his play style. He's got a lean lower half. He doesn't, he's not bulky or anything like that. But because he's good at setting up his own blocks, he's good at finding gaps. I see the potential there. It does seem kind of high, though. I just I wouldn't run him in between the tackles no. frequently. Mm-hmm. No. The, uh, the YouTube chat seems to be shocked. Uh, the question was, are you shocked the Lions selected Jameer Gibbs at number 12? 76%. With the immediate reaction to the yes. Also, we can just hear it in our ears. Our, uh, shout out to our great producer, Chris Cologne, uh, Lions fan. Chris does not seem pleased. It's like, a tough I, life. I, I get, <laughs> like, Chris now, when he gets in our ears to say something, he's like, take my Like, Chris, Chris is angry about this. I'm, I'm just saying, uh, a little bit of a surprise to Mir Gibbs going 12. Uh, also, surprised. I think if you, we all do this, but when you think about the draft going into it as a fan, you're like, oh, we're going to get this guy, this guy, this guy. It feels a little out of left field to think, oh, we had the sixth overall pick. Instead, we got some other picks and a running back. But hey, the Lions at this point are in a division. We just talked about the Bears, but they're in a pretty wide open division. So right now, it gives them a great opportunity to maybe take a step forward. So you can see the recent selections there Bijan Robinson, Jalen Carter, Darnell Wright, Peter Skaronsky. Jameer Gibbs. So, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.